Hello my lovely burritos and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a casual makeup tutorial inspired by Junji Ito's Tomie. I recently just dyed my hair back to black so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try this makeup style. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Hello, hello, my face is bare. Now, starting off with the makeup, we're going to use these two reference photos. But before we start, I just wanted to show you my nails so can we get a quick nail appreciation? Thank you. For my skin, I'm just starting off with some primer and blocking out those pores so we can get an anime finish look for the skin. And then straight after that, I'm following up with a balancing color primer to even out my skin tone. Usually people use the full pump, but I just like to use half a pump because you know, less is more ladies, less is more. Once you're done blending that out, your skin is prepped and primed and ready to go. Now taking this concealer that I got from Korea from the brand Luna, you're just gonna go ahead and cover up any redness, acne, or any imperfections that you would like to take away from your skin. I like to put on concealer before my foundation because I just figured that it helps blend with my foundation or my BB cream later on a lot more easily. And then once you're happy with your concealer placement, you're just gonna go ahead and blend that all out. I got three of these blending sponges from Daiso in Korea for literally $1 and it's actually so good. Next, you're gonna take your favorite BB cream, mine's this one from Tony Moly, and then you're gonna put some on your hand and take a spatula like this. And then you're going to transfer the BB cream evenly onto this side of the spatula as you can see here. And then you're going to apply it evenly on your face with a 45 degree angle. I'm not gonna lie, I'm usually pretty lazy when it comes to my BB cream and my foundation, so I usually don't do this on a daily basis. But since we're trying to create a very flawless skin texture, I highly recommend doing this. And because the foundation is so thinly applied, I really find that the foundation lasts so much longer and it doesn't get as greasy throughout the day. Also, if your nose gets greasy throughout the day, make sure you really get in those nose cracks. I'm not gonna powder my face quite yet because I want to do my contour first, but moving on, we got the sleeping mask from Sp Oil child. I'm gonna apply this beforehand so by the time that our makeup is done, our lips are gonna be nice, hydrated, and ready to go. Next, I'm gonna put in some contact lenses. These contact lenses are from My IBB. I'll leave information in the description box if you want to know down below. For the contour, I'm using these contour sticks from Fenty Beauty. I've had these contour sticks for so long, guys. I don't even know how long I've had them to be honest. But for the nose contour, we're gonna follow this reference photo here. And you want to start off by kind of drawing a C shape like this, and then you want to find that little button nose indent and you want to draw a line there and then you're going to want to make the tip of your nose round and circular like this also don't forget to contour your nostrils in an m shape for a more defined look next i'm going to take a concealer stick and i'm just going to highlight all the necessary areas like my brow bone the tip of my nose and the bridge when you're happy with your contour you're going to take a contouring blending brush like this and then you're just going to blend everything out if you feel like your nose doesn't look as defined here, don't worry. We're gonna go back in with a powder contour. Once you're happy with your cream contour round one, you're gonna wanna take a powder contour palette like this. And then taking your favorite fluffy blending brush, you're gonna go back in and recontour the places that you really, really wanna define. The reason why I'm going back in with a powder contour is because powder tends to always set anything that is cream based. A little tip when you're contouring your nose, you wanna contour the indents of your nose here like this. So then when you look at it from the side, your nose contour looks a lot more natural. Lastly, blend the harsh lines out with your finger a little bit. I'm not going to draw in my brows today because I feel like my brows are already dark enough as is. But if you need to, feel free to draw out your brows. I'm also going to go ahead and contour my jawline as well. And I know this video is all over the place in terms of order, but I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So please, please bear with me. Now, taking the same contour palette that we used before, you're going to take your fluffy brush again and you're going to put that shit all over your eyes. This is just for basic shading. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to create some dimension here. You want to roughly place it all over your lid and your under eyes. And if you can, try to focus it on the outer thirds of your eye as well. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We're going to create bigger double eyelids with some eyelash glue. As you can tell, yes, I already do have double eyelids, but if you look at Tomie's eyelids, they're a lot bigger than mine. Unfortunately, I can't make my eyes look the same as Tomie's because my eyes just physically can't do that. But we're going to attempt to make them as similar as possible. So I started off by putting a thin strip of glue over my natural double eyelid. You're going to let that dry a little bit and then you want to take that pink Y stick that you saw earlier and then you just want to like poke the shit into your 
eyes where the glue is. Dude, I don't even know how to explain it, but you can see it in the video. Mine didn't really properly adhere all the way, so I took some more glue and just put it in the outer corner of it, as you can see here in the video. And then I just kind of fiddled around with it until I kind of liked how it looked, I guess. Also kind of off topic, but if you've never seen anyone do this before, this is literally what Korean girls used to do back in like middle school to high school when they couldn't afford double eyelid surgery. But now that double eyelid surgery is very cheap in Korea, it's commonly gifted as a graduation gift amongst teenagers. I find that so normal but like so crazy at the same time. But anyways, once you're done giving yourself free plastic surgery, you want to take a brown liquid liner, not a black liner but a brown liner, and you want to draw a little line at the end of your double eyelid just to accentuate it a little bit. And what this does is that it gives you an illusion of longer and bigger eyes. Again off topic but my liquid liner here is just like so dried out. Like look at it, it's dry. Next you want to take a light brown eyeshadow and basically just just blend out what you just drew, but make sure when you are blending it out, don't blend it out too far just for the next step. Next, you want to take a dark brown eyeshadow and the brush that I'm using looks like this. Sorry, I didn't show y'all before. You want to take a little bit of that and then you want to basically create a eyeliner, but just with like eyeshadow, if that like makes any sense. The eyeliner that I chose to go with today is a cat eye style eyeliner, but I've seen a lot of other makeup artists do it with like a doggy style eyeliner. Doggy style, sorry, that's what she said. But anyway, cat style, doggy style, cowboy style, feel free to draw that in however you like. And then taking that same dark brown eyeshadow, you want to apply that to the outer half of your under eyes. And then after that, you're going to want to take a light brown eyeshadow like this one. And basically, you're just going to want to blend out what you just did with the dark brown under your eyelids. Again, the blending part doesn't really have to be perfect because we're always going to come back and touch up as needed. So don't be too stressed out on that one. Next, I'm using the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. And with this red shadow here, I'm going to give my eyes a little bit of pop of color, applying that to the outer half of the lid and my under eyes. Now, since Tomie is portrayed as a very violent and seductive and attractive character in the anime, I honestly thought that adding red would be a really good addition to this look. Next, I'm just taking this mauvey pink shade from Etweed House, and basically what I'm doing is I'm blending out the red that we did earlier, and then taking your favorite black liner, mine is Better Than Sex eyeliner from Too Faced. You're gonna go ahead and trace over that eyeshadow eye liner that we made earlier. Make sure you don't forget to do your inner corners as well to make your eyes look seductive and sireny. Fun fact, while I'm editing right now and doing this voiceover as we currently speak, I actually forgot to line my inner corners on the other side. I don't know why I forgot to do it, but if you did notice it, just please ignore it. Go ahead and draw the eyeliner on the other eye as well. I know we don't look like Tomi quite yet, but there's a couple tricks I still got up my sleeve, so stay tuned. This is what we're looking like so far. Now, I actually realized that Tomie's eyeshadow on her under eyes were actually a lot darker. And I don't have black eyeshadow, so this is the closest eyeshadow that I could find to black. But if you do have black eyeshadow, feel free to use it. You don't want to smoke it out too much, but basically what you want to do is create like a under eye liner, but just with like shadow. And once you're happy with the opacity of the black eyeshadow, we're going to take this pink movie eyeshadow from before. And you want to take a little bit of that on your fluffy brush. And then we're going to basically make dead eyes or like dark circles in this case. You actually want to take the pink eyeshadow pretty far down. Like as you can see in the video here, I'm actually taking it down to like half my cheekbone area. When you're applying it though, make sure you apply it in like a gradient effect in like a V shape down to your cheekbone so it doesn't look too harsh like you're wearing too much blush. Next, we're going to curl our eyelashes and you can just curl them however you like to curl them regularly. Next, you're going to take your favorite mascara. I am using this one from Artistry. A good tip I have with mascara is first you want to apply it side to side like this and then you want to take the tip of your mascara wand and go through the tips of your lashes to give it like you know that chunky doyen lash effect you kind of see on the internet yeah i don't even know what to call it but yeah that shit and then basically do the same for your under lashes but again pro tip here if you get mascara on yourself then just wait for it to dry and then take a q-tip and take it off because when it's wet it's just gonna smudge so don't be stupid and wait for it to dry this is what we're looking like so far and then for the highlighter i'm gonna be using this pink iridescent highlighter and put it on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose now this is where it gets really interesting 
interesting. We're going to take this dark brown eyeshadow once again, and we're going to start sculpting in our inner corners. As you can tell, Tomie has these very siren-like eyes where the inner corners dip inwards. And clearly, I do not have those type of eyes. So we're going to put these in the inner corners and the lower inner corners of our eyes, like you can see in the video here. And if it's too much, you can always take a Q-tip and adjust accordingly. Personally, I do feel like this is the most important trait of Tomie eye makeup, so make sure you try and nail this as best as you can. Next, we're going to go back to that black eyeshadow, which I clearly do not have. So we're going to go back to this purple dark eyeshadow. And you're just going to make any touch-ups necessary in the under eye area. Once you're all done with your eye makeup and you're happy with it, we're going to take some powder and mattify out that face. And when you're doing this, make sure you really, really tap and work the powder onto your face so it really sticks. Finally, we're at the last part of the tutorial, which is our lips. So go ahead and take that lip balm off that we previously applied. And you're basically going to scrape off all that dead skin while you're doing that. Lastly, take your favorite lip plumper. The one I'm using is the Devil's Lip Plumper from Holika Holika. And oh my god, this shit burns, bro. Like, I'm not even joking when I tell you this. When I'm applying the lip plumper, I really like to focus it on the outer parts of my lips. So that when it plumps up, it's not only plumping up the actual lip itself, but it's actually physically making your lips bigger and wider. Now, because it takes some time for your lips to actually plump up, I have this nice trick for you guys when it comes to your lashes. Now, although this isn't the best method to curl your lashes because it is heat straight on your face, it does work. So what you want to do is you want to start off by applying heat with your hair dryer from a reasonable distance from your face and apply pressure to the base of the lashes. Once you're satisfied with the hold from the base, do the same thing but just on the tip of your lashes. Now that our lips are nicely plumped out, we're going to take off that lip plumper because we do want to make our lips matte. And yes, it does burn very much. Next, you're going to want to take a lip color, preferably kind of nude or kind of like a natural pink like I'm using here. Like personally, I would go with nude because that's what the picture kind of told me to do. But nude isn't really my color, unfortunately. So I just went with this one. Uh, I don't really know what to say here. Like, I guess it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just color your lips in question mark question mark next we're gonna create Tomie's lip smile line so you're gonna want to go back to that brown liner and as you can see in the reference photo here you know how her lips like the ends of her lips are kind of like pointing upwards yeah that's what we're gonna do so just take your liner and basically do the same thing i'm doing and just draw like a 45 degree angle line and make sure you kind of smooth that out with any eyeshadow that's left on your eyeshadow brush once you look like you're smiling but you're not actually smiling which is actually kind of creepy you're gonna take the same brush with the leftover eyeshadow on it blend that shit out and then you're gonna do the same thing on your bottom lip like this which basically gives an illusion of making it look fuller and now because tomie has a really really short face you're gonna wanna do the same thing on the upper lip, like that. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And then you wanna blend it out with your finger again, just like that. And once we're finished blending that shit out, just wait for it. Give it a second. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like I'm smiling. And then if you have any like harsh lines, just take your puff again and just like blend it out. Last finishing touch is, of course, Tommy A's birthmark. So take a black liquid liner and just make a birthmark on your right eye just like that and you are done now you are basically a casual looking tomie a dupe all jokes aside i really really enjoyed this look because i really really wanted to do it this is literally the only reason why i've been dying to dye my bangs back to black okay guys i'm like running out of time so i have to say bye so if you guys stay till the end thank you so so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye and make sure you like and subscribe and comment i love you so much bye 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 bye